Hey everybody, what's up? In honor of uh, today's Throwback Thursday, I wanted to take you exactly five years into the past for my first powerlifting meet ever, the USPA Central California Open, and it was also the first meet that the USPA ever held. So congrats uh, to Steve Dennison, who's spotting me there, for uh, growing that into such a great uh, federation, really high quality meets, tons and tons of lifters, especially here in Southern California. So you saw my my opening squat there. Uh, you know, this this meet was about the, I believe, the second or third time I'd ever worn knee wraps. And the first uh, one or two times I wrapped them myself. And um, as, I, as I was getting ready to squat, one of the other lifters, Alan Best, who spotted me in the video here, asked me if I wanted some help with the knee wraps. And uh, I, of course, said yes, because I really had no idea what I was doing with them. And he asked if I had a preference on, on how to wrap them, and I just told him, wrap it the way that makes me squat the most. Um, and he definitely did that, hit my goal, 800. This is actually 362 kilos, so it's 799 point whatever. But uh, yeah, everyone still laughs that I, I was doing the power, lift, I was doing my meet in Nike Freeze, you know, and, and now in the age of Instagram and YouTube powerlifting and stuff, you know, maybe I would have known better, but uh, five years ago, is it? A little bit of a different time, and I, I wasn't so concerned with the footwear, just with my, my training, and you know, growing up as a track athlete and a football player, we never really wore weightlifting shoes, so it wasn't a big deal. Here on the bench press, you know, it's it's nice to see here that my, my bench has come a long way in the last five years, up over a hundred pounds. Or that uh, that first, uh, first attempt there. You know, this is my first time, my first meet, just you know, like. A lot of you guys are probably doing your first meet and everything, and uh, I almost jumped the the press command. I just totally forgot, or sorry, the start command. Almost totally forgot that they were going to give me one, and uh, it was, I basically just started going down. And conveniently, it was the exact same time as he said start, so I didn't miss my opener bench on that technicality there. But uh, this is a slim looking CWS here. I actually only started training the deadlift when I started competing in powerlifting, so about three months before this. Um, yeah, I'm going to deadlift a good 100, you know, 20, maybe 150 pounds more at my next meet than I did at this uh, this first meet. And, you know, wearing the Nike Freeze again, I'm sure that everyone is gasping about that. The, uh, But I didn't know that you had to wear... You had to have a sole on your shoe because I normally just trained in my socks. Look at that athletic, high-jumping, skinny guy over there. But uh, that was my first meet. It was a good time. You know, it's it's such an interesting transition from from track to powerlifting for me. But I've really enjoyed the last five years and uh, fun to look back and see how far I've come. So, you know, if you're just getting into powerlifting, remember, as cliche as it may be, you know, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. So the last five years for me, it's been from 1962 to 2314. Hopefully, getting ready to add even more to that in the uh, in the weeks to come. So thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.